So this is that same little calf from the last video. He's just kind of getting a slow start. I don't know, I gave him that classroom first thing when I found him, but I don't really know how long it had been since he was born and hadn't sucked. And he's pretty little, so I think that just kind of made him slower, but. But his mom, she's just kind of dumb too. I don't think the elevator goes to the top floor, if you know what I mean. But he's starting to figure it out. There you go, little buddy. Oh, he lost it over here. You got to figure it out on your own, bud. I'm not always going to be here to help you. Right here. There you go. Hello. Got a little cousin party going on. Hi, Josie. Hey, bugs. Hey, Millie. What are you wearing? It's a cousin party. It looks like it. Millie took full advantage of Silas being on at church on Sunday, and Carson held her for most of the music. I did. <laughs> she almost fell asleep. It was fun. Carson holding her. Hey, you. <laughs> you play hide and seek? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What's around your neck? Are you gonna go hide? Yeah. You're good at hide and seek. Should we go hide somewhere? Yeah. Let's go hide What's and we'll hide. I'll come find you, okay? okay. Come here. This is me. Come here. How's Bubs today? Um, he's very, very spitty. Spitty? Yeah. Good buddy. Very spitty. Are you not liking something Mom's eating? No. We think his teeth are coming in. It's been kind of grumpy. I don't think they're cutting. Yeah, not cutting. Is Millie hiding? Is she ready? Ready! Huh, where could she be? I have no idea. Where did Millie go? Hmm. Oh, that wasn't very good. That's a good spot. Usually she can hold it together for like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> So when we were moving this group of cows and calves, a lot of you noticed that little bugger with the, with the kind of silly, goofy legs. He doesn't have broken legs, so you don't have to worry about that. If he did, we'd be taking care of him. We'd have him in a cast. I'll try and find him. Okay, there he is. He's running right now. <laughs> he actually has contracted tendons, which is not uncommon for calves and foals. They get that. Um, if it's really bad, you can put them into splints and they'll straighten out, but usually they just heal on their own. So we actually had one like this last year and he healed on his own just fine. It didn't take very long either. But you can see it doesn't affect him getting around at all. He runs around, I can't even catch him. <laughs> him and his mother. It does look kind of funny. It looks like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, look at him. He gets around just fine. Doesn't bother him one bit, so. Yeah, contracted tendons. If you guys are interested in that. But his legs aren't broken. We wouldn't just. If his legs were broken, we wouldn't just ignore him. We would do something about it, so. Hey, Squirt. I'm not your mom. Morning, bulls. You guys want some yummy alfalfa? Huh?
got a little buddy licking our door. Is that good? We've got two little bottle babies at the moment. We'd love to give them a mom, but usually that means another calf has died, so. It's good that no other calves have died and we don't have to put them on another one, but it'd be nice to give them a mom. Good stuff there, kiddo. <laughs> This is all we have left to calve. There's probably about 80 cows left and four heifers. You can see three of them, one's down here, but yeah, we're getting real close down to the end. It's pretty hard to believe, but these ones will, they'll kind of drag on for a little while. Oh, well, there's a couple comments about the red cows and calves. So like this red cow, I don't know, she's just kind of random. She actually just had this little black calf. It's just something with genetics, so. You know, we crossbreed Angus and Semitol, and Semitol historically used to be a red breed. So every now and then we get a little bit of red in our cattle. So she was probably a cow we raised, but yeah, we actually got a handful of red calves this year. And like, see, she had, she was a red cow, she had a black calf. So it's just something with genetics, I don't really know exactly. I think the Black is a lot more dominant trait, but the red is a little more recessive, but it does come through now and then. The Game and Fish brought some corn out to kind of feed the turkeys in a sense. They've been tearing up all of our grain bales, eating all the hay, so we kind of talked to them and asked if there was anything they could do to get them away from the bales. So they brought some corn out to kind of distract them. So that's what they're doing is they're just picking around where the corn was. Lots of nice gobblers though. But they're getting kind of tame. <laughs> I like watching that big Tom right there. He thinks he's pretty hot stuff. Might have a fight here. you sneaky cows. We've got one spot in one of our fences where the snow drift packed in on the fence. It was holding it down. There was too much snow, we didn't fix it up. We just turned the cows out. And there's that a spot the cows don't usually go. But they found the spot. The snow must have melted enough too that they were able to walk out. So we'll probably fix it up now. Whoa, it's a little chilly though. Go on, you know. Come on, calves. Horn your buggers. Yeah, they know. I thought you said winter was over, Jack. <laughs> hey, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Just the first few winters. Yep. Well, I brought the stretch and some wires. And okay. See what we can do. Yeah. A little froze down. Well, thank you all for coming along today. I'm just finishing up the day, spreading a little bit of urea, which is nitrogen, onto some of our winter rye fields. So we'll be doing some of that in the future. You guys will see. 
But yeah, snow's melted a little bit. We got that fence fixed, those cows back in. Pretty good day. Hope you all are doing well. Thanks again for coming along, really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.